guys this is the 2023 Toyota Camry LE it is equipped with the 2.5 naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine and this one is the all-wheel drive Camry it is finished in supersonic red this red looks pretty good but let's go ahead and take this 2023 Toyota Camry on a POV test drive and see how it drives All right, so here is the interior of this 2023 Toyota Camry. So this is the LE trim, and it does look pretty good from the inside. There is 13 trims you could choose from, and this is a combination of the four cylinder, the V6, and the hybrid. So you could get LE hybrid, LE four cylinder, and uh, yeah, just like that. So. This is nice and soft, looks good. I really like this trim, gloss black, seven inch screen. Let me go ahead and show you the backup camera before I move. Backup camera resolution is all right. When I turn the steering wheel, the lines do not move. And yeah, overall, the interior looks good in this Camry. There is one USB right here, a 12 volt. There is this uh, storage place. You could open it, there is a very nice deep storage place. But let's go ahead and take this Camry on a drive and see how it does. So as I said, it does have a seven inch screen. I did actually connect my phone to the USB type C that is inside, but for some reason it's not connecting. And I think that the two USBs right here, they do not um, have nothing to do with this screen. So I think the only USB that makes App CarPlay work is this USB down there. All right, so driving this 2023 Toyota Camry. Few things changed. So for the 2023 LE, um, power seats were added uh, before, or the 2022 model, model year had um, manual seats on the LE trim. So now the LE trim has power seats and a few other things. Steering wheel is very thin. It's not wrapped in leather, but it is nice and light nice and direct seats are nice and comfortable I really wish they were a tiny bit more comfortable because usually the people that buy those kind of cars they commute a lot so definitely having a little bit more comfortable seats would help the visibility is very good so all the windows are nice and big and uh, yeah I just love the fact that the windows are just nice and big and um, definitely a very nice comfortable ride the engine is nice and responsive. This eight speed automatic transmission shifts quick and um, definitely a nice, comfortable, responsive car. And it is very quiet in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Camry on the highway and I'll see how is the wind noise, road noise, and the noise overall in the cabin in this Camry. So we'll definitely test that. I love the seating position. Um, I couldn't lower the seat more. So I really wish that the seat lowered down a tiny bit more. But overall, as I said, the seat or the seats are nice and comfortable. 7 inch screen, not a big fan of what Toyota does with their screens. They honestly look like they're tacked on, last minute thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of them. The bezels are too thick, too big. Let's go ahead and put this camera in sport mode. It is in manual mode. Let's 
go ahead and leave it in automatic mode actually, but it is in sport mode. Very nice and responsive. So, definitely responsive. And this eight speed automatic transmission is actually quick. So, in sport mode, the RPMs stay a little bit high and very responsive. It feels very nice and light. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in normal mode. There's a good amount of road noise or tire noise from this Camry. So, uh, tire noise coming into the cabin and I'm only doing like 70 miles per hour probably around 80 miles per hour it does get a little bit louder so transmission downshifts it downshifted multiple times to basically give me the power I need so a little bit of tire noise coming into the cabin wind noise is pretty good and um, yeah, the cabin overall, it is nice and quiet. By the way, if you guys are curious about the size of those rims, they are 215, 50, 17, and uh, nice and comfortable ride. Suspension setup is nice and comfortable, and overall, it's definitely a good car. Anyways, guys, I completely forgot to talk about the engine. It does have a 2.5 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine it is connected to an eight speed automatic transmission and this eight speed automatic transmission is good as i said this engine produces 202 horsepower and 182 pound feet of torque and uh definitely nice and responsive and honestly feels like it has a little bit more horsepower and torque Something like the Honda Accord 1.5, it does feel a little bit lazy because of the CVT transmission, but um, yeah, with this Camry, it's uh, very responsive because of this eight speed automatic transmission. Steering wheel is very light. Let's go ahead and test the brakes here. Brakes are okay. The brake pedal itself, it does sink in a good amount. Not a big fan of that. So I think that Toyota should fix the brake pedal. So not a big fan when brake pedals are hard or they sink in. It just doesn't feel confident. But other than that, this thing seriously drives amazing. So this 2.5 paired to this eight speed automatic transmission is very good. So the engine is nice and responsive. This transmission communicates with the engine. It downshifts and it goes. So definitely a good combination. And by the way, guys, this Camry has all the nice safety features. It does have the 2.5 plus Toyota safety sense. So it does have link keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, emergency braking. So let's go ahead and turn on the safety features and let's go ahead and turn on the link keeping assist. And the adaptive cruise control is on and actually I'm not sure if it does have steering assist but it does have lane keeping assist this button right here is the lane keeping assist if I'm not mistaken there's no buttons right here but let's see if it actually steers by itself I think it does have lane tracking assist but um, yeah, it seems like it's steering by itself, so it might have steering assist. It would be nice if I could try the steering assist on a nice sharp turn. But yeah, it seems like it's doing a great job. It's keeping a distance between me and the car in front of me, and it's um, doing a pretty good job. So. Uh, definitely safety system is good 
yeah, it's going to keep a distance and it's going to brake, accelerate, come to a complete stop. Let's go ahead and put this car in sport mode and uh, see how it does on this turn. As I said guys, the steering wheel is nice and light and it is actually very direct. It did get a little bit heavy when I was turning. So, yep, definitely nice and direct. But I really wish it had, I really wish it was a little bit more heavy in sport mode. But other than that, very, very good. So there's three drive modes, eco, normal, sport. There's brake hold, the e-brake. As I said, there's a storage place right here. Climb controls are very easy to use. This is nice and soft. Two cup holders, this is extremely soft. The There is a ton of space inside and uh, seriously, a beautiful, comfortable ride. So again, 202 horsepower and 182 pound-feet of torque paired to this 8-speed automatic transmission. This 2.5 is seriously impressive and I definitely like this 2.5 over the 1.5 turbocharged uh, Honda Accord um, paired to the CVT transmission. So this 8-speed automatic transmission is definitely much better than the CVT transmission in the Accord, but the 10-speed automatic transmission in the 2.0 turbo Accord is very similar to this 8-speed. This transmission is not jerky as the 10-speed automatic transmission from Honda, so it is definitely nice and smooth, but I feel like the 10-speed from Honda is a little bit quicker, and uh, yeah, I am seriously impressed with this 8-speed. Um, if you guys are curious about the Fuel Academy numbers, they are um, 25 in the city, 34 highway and 29 combined and I think those numbers are very good and by the way there is the aromatic high beam traction control trunk release spine and the um, fuel door uh, fuel fuel door release and there's like a small nice storage place right there you could put some uh, coins if you want to and this 2.5 definitely sounds good for a Camry, it's definitely good. And um, the Accord handles better and does have, I feel like a better suspension than the Camry, but if you need something nice and comfortable, then the Camry is probably the one you want. Very comfortable, smooth, quiet but uh, I did say that the um, tire noise a little bit on the higher side on the highway but it's not that bad this is nice and comfortable 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 probably the only complaint I have with this Camry is the brake pedal because it is actually hard and not a big fan of that. There's this extension right here. Let me see if I could actually open it. It is very long. So let me see if I could show you. So there's this extension. The visor does not extend, but there's this extension right here. There is LED lights, which I like. SOS, glasses holder, nice and big. And uh, definitely a nice, comfortable ride. I did say that the rims were 215 50 17 they are actually 215 55 17 so there's a good amount of rubber the rims are not too big not too small i think they are the perfect size and they fit this camry just perfect there is a seven inch cluster display or gauge display gauges are very easy to read and understand fuel economy numbers are very good this engine is good this eight speed automatic transmission is good and uh, yeah, definitely it's a nice, comfortable ride. And uh, I really, really like it. So I did mention this at the beginning of the video, but I wanna mention it again. This one is equipped with the all-wheel drive. So you could get the K2 
Camry in all wheel drive or front wheel drive. And it is finished in supersonic red. This supersonic red does look very good. And I don't really see a lot of Camrys with this color. The most, most of the Camrys I see, they're finished in black, dark blue, or white. But uh, yeah, this supersonic red does look good. Um, for 29,000, I really wish that this LE trim had um, blind spot monitoring system for the price. But this is the base trim, so I get it. And honestly, this Camry looks very good for a base trim. Uh, Toyota system is not really the best. It's very dated, very slow. And uh, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of it. And uh, the visor is nice and soft. There is a mirror, LED light. And yeah, overall, a very good commuter car. Again, guys, the MPGs are very, very good. And if you guys want a Camry that has better MPGs, then go with the hybrid. I haven't gotten the chance to drive the hybrid, but uh, this thing is perfect. I personally think 29000 for this Camry is a little bit expensive, especially if this is the base trim. I know it does have um, the all drive but honestly it's uh, a little bit expensive for a base trim handling is not bad as I mentioned very solid and um, yeah the suspension is definitely good a little bit on the comfort uh, on the comfortable side or the softer side but that's completely fine this is a Camry at the end of the day So, as you mentioned, this shifter has, or this Camry has, plus and minus, so you can control your gears this way. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in sport mode. A little bit of delay, but then it is nice and responsive. Let's see if it goes all the way down to the first gear. Yes, it does. It's not recommended, but it does go all the way down to the first gear. So, such a beautiful, comfortable car. And uh, the only complaint I have about this camera is the price is a tiny bit expensive or a little bit on the higher side. And the brake pedal just feels too soft for my liking. So I really wish that Toyota fixes the brake pedal um, because it does sink in a good amount and it just doesn't make me confident when stopping but overall the brake the brake pads are decent and uh, this car weighs around 3,000 pounds just maybe a hundred or 200 pounds over uh, 3,000 pounds but seriously such a beautiful car comfortable Good MPGs, good engine, good transmission, suspension is nice and soft, and uh, overall, it is a very good car, and I definitely recommend this Camry turning radius. My camera just turned off when I was talking about the turning radius, but the turning radius is very good, and I love the fact that the steering wheel is very light, especially at low speeds. So, definitely easy to drive around parking lots, but I hope you guys enjoyed this POV test drive of this 2023 Toyota Camry LE. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see Tim here at Wow Toyota in Wallingford. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.